Hey everyone, welcome to a new video. Today we're back with The Bear Season 3, Episode 6. Uh, loving the season so far. Uh, as I'm filming right now, I've only really four reactions, so this is a new day for me. Very excited to get into it. I, obviously, I've seen a lot of mixed reviews of this season. However, my friend Kane, who comes on and does guest reactions, he actually gave this a 5 out of 5 for this season. Um... So, I'm not going to let any of the negative feedback uh, influence my opinion. Last episode, I did um, obviously talk about in the review why I think um, people aren't enjoying it as much. Uh, since then, I, I still stand with what I said, but I also think that they originally meant to film Season 4 directly after Season 3, and they didn't do that, and that's been delayed because um, they want to work on the scripts a little bit more. So what that tells me is I think season three is quite a bit of setup. A lot of filler, character moments, building for a, a pretty crazy season four. Um, so that's what I think. I could be wrong, but obviously a lot of people kind of want a full fleshed out uh, season. And I totally get that. But The Bear's not like every other show. So, yeah, I don't mind it. Um... This episode is about Tina, directed by Ayo Debris. Very excited to see her directing. Um, I love her. I love Tina. Very excited to hear more from her. Um, delve into her character a little bit more. Give her some character development and more depth. But that's it. So without further ado, let's go right into the best season three, episode six. Let's go. <laughs> All right, let's go, Tina. Is this past or present? You anxious? <laughs> Never. The good news is... I recognise this actor. I don't know what from. I feel like... Either Gotham or the Dark Knight trilogy. It's going to be okay. Yeah, I, I know, baby. I, I just think I spun a little bit. I don't want to lose this place. He's kind of an asshole. Tina. <laughs> this track record is not good. Don't panic yet. All right. 2018. So it's passed. Yeah, it is. Can I talk to you for a minute? Uh, sure. Okay. Trust me, no one wanted it to come to this, but it's the reality of the current climate. Oh man, she's struggling for money and she's being let go. Oh, so glad she's doing better now. Ah, oh, Tina. Also, we we don't. We saw this guy in the. Um, the flashback to, Kami's brother's funeral. Are they still together now? I lost my job. What happened? They cut everyone back. I'm gonna find another job tomorrow. No. Oh. And then I'm assuming she obviously gets a job. But is it Mikey? I think it's Mikey. Um, gets a job there, and that really helps her. And that's why she has such a connection to this, to that place. So does that mean we're getting John Bunthold this episode? You could just apply on LinkedIn. It'll be easier. Promise that you're going to give this job everything you got. You can apply on LinkedIn. We'll definitely keep it on file. So they need another guy. Maybe more of the family temple. Lucky day, I guess. Hmm. A beautiful young woman. <laughs> I'm really liking the directing. Hey, he's doing a good job. Oh, we're not, unfortunately. But can I leave my resume? Oh, we're not hiring, but... Hey, I don't... I did not like that attitude. I like working. I, I, I like routine. I get it, baby. Hey, mama. Yeah, you... Mm -hmm. you know, let me know if anything opens. <laughs> Mostly processing timesheets and approving everything for payroll. Let me grab some paperwork for you to fill out and we'll set up an interview. Do you have references of your BA? 
really strict about that here. I know, it's super annoying. But, but, but I did this exact job, like, for 15 years. Maybe. No. Uh, yeah, the world... <sighs> yeah. It's difficult. We haven't even seen Louis. Is this him? Thanks, baby. I got a really good feeling about this interview. I also have a very good feeling. Did I fail you? No, baby. I never want you to worry, baby. I hope they're still together in present day. Yeah, I think I think we're getting it the way the directing's building up right now. Okay, AO. Maybe it's wait, maybe it's not. Oh. Never mind. Rude. For the open interview hour. That's canceled. They hired someone yesterday. But there's no job. Well, then uh, you should. Tina. And it's like false advertising or whatever. I'll tell them. Well, I don't like this guy. You know what else you could tell them? <laughs> Fuck you. Good for you, Tina. Good for you. Delayed. Maybe this is the right thing because Yes. Yes. Here we go. <laughs> yes. It's your time, Tina. Aww. What's this? That's an Italian beef sandwich. Okay. I hope you like it. No. No. <laughs> Richie. She's gonna absolutely love it, isn't she? And that's. She's gonna want to be a part of it. Oh, it's terrible. Oh, or is it good? Wait. Ah. Uh, Come on, Richie. Sandwich really that bad. <laughs> <laughs> Looked like you were crying. Yeah, you weren't sobbing, but I think you were crying. Bad day, huh? How crazy would it be if you like didn't know it? You know? Like if that if that wasn't the baseline. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, keeps fucking exploding. You know, it's like it's like equal parts depressing. That's like oh, that's a solid they talked about how everyone loves him. He, the second he would speak to someone, the second he would enter the room, everyone would just feel it, you know? And that's what he did for people. That's what he's doing right now. We just, we don't have enough people working here. The, the, the general vibe just sucks. I can't remember the last time I went to bed. Yeah. My landlord raised our rent by like a lot. Three, I lost my job. I'm 46 years old. You feel better? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Check that out. Oh. <laughs> wow. No, my, uh, we got that in episode one. He's, he's a chef. Knows exactly what it is in this world that they want to do. Like, fuck it. Oh, he's so proud of him. You like the work? Um, I, don't know. I mean, I, 
I'm really glad we're getting this conversation. Man, this... Yeah. This is good. I like it when the delivery company forgets fucking onions, you know? And I guess that's why people do it. Do what? Open restaurants. The, the, the special moments, you know, of your life, like celebrations. You know, they always happen around food. <laughs> Every single floor was like a different business. <laughs> I remember thinking, like, this building, it's like a building of dreams, you know? Like one dream, right? And that led them to that building and then to that floor and then to that job. I love the dialogue. I, I just love how natural it all is. Feels like the two real people were having a conversation. That this isn't written. Good dialogue. It's great acting. I don't know, like that dream shit? What's gonna happen to me? I was there for 15 years. Right? They look like kids. Is that not the fucking worst? Also beautiful. They seem like hungry. Yeah. Like, fuck them kids. They don't know shit. I would give anything to be one of them motherfuckers. <laughs> ah. I'm this just, is brilliant. This is so good. In a dish, I wash mm. the floor. I'll sell some bullshit. I don't need to make magic. I just want to feed my kid. True. Give me a routine. I'm in. <laughs> She's selling herself very well right now. Like this fucking place, it sucks. I swear to you, there are days that it is so much fun. Like it is so much fun. Like it feels fucking good, you know? I need a new line cook. Yeah? I have an actual resume. What the fuck am I gonna do with a resume? I wanna, I'll go clean the toilet with the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this was the interview. Basically like that, like all Yo, the- Yo, coach, what did you say? Ah, <laughs> uh, oh, what a scene! Ah, uh, Tina! Oh God! Oh my heart! Because now I just think about when she found out, and oh, that's heartbreaking. Like he, she was at her lowest. And he cheered her up, and he offered her a job. Wow, oh, what a, that's so beautiful. But, ah, oh, so heartbreaking just thinking about when she finds out. T-shirt? Yes! <laughs> Original beef. Ah, oh, Ayo Debris. And there we go. There is episode six of The Bear. That was beautiful. Loved that episode. But yeah, so heartbreaking. I do love how pretty, like, not pretty much half the episode, but big chunk of that episode was just that conversation between Michael and Tina. But wow, that that was so good. That was so, so beautiful. Ah, oh, man. Ah, oh, a part of me hopes we never see Tina's reaction to the news in the past. Because, ah, oh, God, that... That would break me. But... but I also kind of want to see it, because it would be a very powerful moment. Man. Ah, oh, Tina. Tina, what a terrific character. What a terrific character. And it kind of sets up her kind of personality in season one. Um, she's been, you know, she's she's lovely. But being in that environment definitely gave her a little bit of a, an attitude to kind of be like that in the kitchen. So when um, Sydney comes in, she kind of doesn't think someone kind of young could teach her this. But I think eventually she thought back to that time. She she remembered being jealous of these kids. Um, and that's allowed her to accept that Sydney can offer uh, Tina something as well. Um, advice, help, you know. Yes! Ah, what a good episode. 
Right, well, I'm going to get right into episode 7. So, thank you for watching the video. If you're new, if you're new here, feel free to subscribe, listen, comment, all the good stuff. My Instagram, Twitter, Letterboxd is down below. If you like, drop off them. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.